Well, it finally happened, y'all. First cold front has came through. Uh, we went from 93, 91 yesterday. It's registering 66 right now in the truck. So, uh, yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit of a difference. So, I'm gonna see if it woke any of these fish up. Uh, hopefully, the first signs of fall. Uh, get the bait moving. Get the fish biting. So, we're gonna load up. And uh, I'm going to go try to do some bass fishing. See if they might be up in shallow water chasing bait. So y'all stay tuned. We'll see if we do any good. I didn't get this guy on camera just because of the wind noise out there. The wind is ripping. But I did want to show you all this. I picked these up a while back. They basically turn your swim bait into or your paddle tail into double treble hooks. We'll let this guy go. So, you just take your swim bait, it's got a metal bar through here, you just push your swim bait head up on it, and then it's got this little nook right here, just kind of lock your swim bait onto that, and it'll hold it there, and still let the tail do its thing, but now it's got treble hooks on it, works really good. Yep, that was a fish. I ripped the thing right off of there. It must have just bit the back end. Alright, well, just give me a chance to show you how this is rigged. You just slide that right down the middle of your bait. That's it. Gonna blow me right into this crap. There he was, right here. Man, I swear, every time I go to move the kayak, I get a hit. If I could keep the wind at my back, it might stay a little quieter on camera. <laughs> oh man, you took it. They're short striking it. Alright. Let's try something different. Where well, the wind is chilled out a little bit, and it blew all this cloud cover in. So we're going to see if that changes anything. There he is. It's a nice one. Come on, buddy. There he goes. That's a nicer one right there. The old chatterbait with the... The old white chatterbait with the... White trailer, one of my favorites. He's a good, probably two and a half pounds, maybe three. Got a little spot on him. A big old head, don't he? All right. See you, buddy. One of my favorite, favorite baits out here. It's always done me good. Regular old white chatterbait with a catching tail with a little glitter in it you got a little glitter on the skirt always been a solid bait for me
There he was. That's a nice one. I'm not getting the amount, but these are all quality bites. There's another two pounder, probably. Alright, another two pounder, probably, right there. Nice one. Nice one. See you later, buddy. Oh, that was him. That was him. Dang on it. I knew there was going to be one there. Oh, don't do it, Kayak. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, it's getting dark, so I figure if I'm going to do something dumb, might as well do it now. Um, where this river here, that gets shallow right over here, and it creates this channel, and I do a lot of catfishing here because it's just this channel that goes through here, uh, and the current picks up quite a bit. But I was goofing around down here one day with a Texas rig, just throwing it up current and just bouncing it back to me, letting the current take it with every hop. And I got like four or five back-to-back -back hits. Uh, I couldn't connect with any of them, um, but I'm gonna try this guy. Same principle, except it's a open hook. Uh, it's got it's a weight here, and it's got these little antenna things. So the premise is it hits the bottom, and the current I'm hoping will just make all these things flutter as I bounce it back. So we'll see. I'm probably there's a lot of sticks and stumps down. I'm probably just gonna lose it in like three casts, but. I'm gonna try. He didn't want it that time. Oh. oh no. No, I told you. I didn't pick it up fast enough. Golly. Dog darn it. Gosh darn it. Oh. There it is. I got a hold of it this time for sure. Is it a tree? Nope. Too much stuff in here to use it like that. I had to take the camera out to change the battery, so I figured while I had it out, I'd go ahead and shoot the outro because it is getting dark. Uh, I'm going to keep fishing, so... Uh, this will be at the end of the video anyway. So, just didn't want you to think something weird was going on anywho uh i appreciate y'all watching hope you enjoyed the video um yeah the the obviously the bigger fish are starting to move i mean i caught that one smaller one early on but the two i actually caught on camera were both quality fish so that is good news um anyway yeah i'm gonna keep coming out here and fishing um i got some new baits i'm gonna be trying out um we'll see what happens hopefully this fall is as good or better than last fall so Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, hope y'all have a good rest of y'all's evening. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Bye.